Good morning guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to go over why if you're a runner you need to strength train and if you strength train you need to run. I'm going to take you through two different days where I run on one day and I lift on one day and show you how I'm blending my lifting and my running while I'm training for this half marathon in a hybrid style. So let's hop into it. This 12 week prep is my way of documenting what I'm doing to reach my goal of a sub 135 half marathon. Throughout this series, I will document everything I'm doing leading up to the Nebraska half marathon on April 28th. The running, the lifting, the nutrition, the supplementation. I will show you everything you need to do to show up prepared for your next race because no one's gonna go do it for you. You have to take action because the grind, it never stops. So we just got our sample of electrolyte in two different flavors. Um, my wife is currently out on a run. I'm gearing up, getting ready to run. So she will kill me if I try the electrolytes before her. So we're going to sample our fit grind electrolytes after the run. So let's get ready. Let's go run. I'll take you through the warm up, and I'll show you some clips of what we're doing. And then afterwards, we're going to sample the first two potential flavors for our Fit Grind Electrolyte Supplement. Let's go run. All right, so we are here at Lake Zerensky. This is a perfect loop that I'll do at least once a week that goes around a lake here in town. And it's super flat and it's just a really beautiful trail run. So we're running around the lake. It's actually a seven mile loop. We'll be hitting six miles today. I'll probably go a little bit over six miles, but the goal of today's run is to run in a zone two aerobic pace at a pace below my max aerobic heart rate. So the goal is to try and stay below 153. Now there's a couple hills on this, on this route that'll spike my heart rate up, but I'll be tracking it through my Garmin watch um, and we'll go over the data afterwards. So gonna get warm like I said we got six miles today this Tuesday run is going to be more of my longer distance run so throughout this prep it's going to build in mileage and it's also going to build in intensity so starting off they're gonna be zone two aerobic runs as we build throughout this prep they're gonna turn into half marathon paced runs so tempo runs um, which will be a challenge workout which there will be lots of feeling that we'll go through and I will document that whole process of exactly how I'm feeling for those workouts how I'm warming up and how we're really getting ready to tackle that challenge so that we can be ready on race day. So let's get warm and let's hop into our six mile run today. They 
wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games. I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit. All right, so we just finished up that six mile run. Ended up running 6.58 miles. Total time was 56 minutes and 59 seconds. My average minute per mile pace was 840. My average heart rate was 155. So we were right around that um, max aerobic heart rate, for, which for me is 153 for most of the run. Um, there was a part where I had to run across the street. I had to sprint across the street so I get hit by some oncoming traffic. And that jacked my heart rate up and then kind of just stayed up from there and it couldn't get back down. So overall, really good run. It felt very good. 6.58 miles. I was supposed to run six. I ended up having to run a little bit extra to get back to the car. So overall, was a great run. I'm going to head inside. We are going to sample our electrolyte samples. I want you to pause the video and comment what two flavors you think we are sampling. These are future flavors for our Fit Grind electrolyte supplement. So we're going to give you a sneak peek. I'm going to give you a first impressions taste test, but I want you to comment. What two flavors do you think we're going to do? Don't cheat. Make sure you pause the video right now. Go comment. Come back and play it. And we'll go sample those two flavors. All right. So post run meal, also going to sample some of the grind electrolyte future flavors. Um, I have 300 grams of rice. I had six ounces of beef and I have um, some broccoli and bell pepper mix that we made. And I also have some Bragg's liquid aminos on there. Um, just a good soy sauce alternative. I'm going to eat this. I'm freaking starving. That's one thing that when you're running and you're increasing your mileage, for me, I always get really hungry and my appetite really starts to kick in. So going to down this, try some electrolytes and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So the two flavors that we had are lemon lime and pink starburst. So I will be interested to see if you guys guess correctly what two flavors we're going to be sampling. So I naturally gravitate towards lemon lime, so I'm going to try that one first. So let's give this a test. Okay. I'm not going to try not to react until I drink both of them. Pink starburst. Okay. These are both freaking bomb. That could. I'm obviously, I'm a little biased, but dang. Um, we're going to... This is going to be hard to choose one flavor. Uh, we'll start off with one flavor first. We're going to have to sample it a little bit more. I know that uh, I'm naturally a little more lemon-lime flavor. Alyssa's a little more pink starburst. That's kind of why we got both of them. But honestly, that's kind of a toss-up for me. So, that's exciting. We'll keep you guys updated on our future release because... This is the next one that we're working on. Obviously, we're working on the pre-workout, working on electrolyte, really just building out this supplement line. So we're at sample that a little bit hard because that is going to be a very, very controversial flavor topic there. <laughs> now, the benefits of an electrolyte supplement. Why would you want to take an electrolyte supplement? When you're lifting and when you're working out, you're naturally going to sweat. You're naturally going to lose electrolytes through your sweat as you work out. Now, especially as you're running, you're going to lose a lot more sweat. You're just consistently contracting those, those muscles. And every time you have a muscle contraction, it takes electrolytes to produce that muscle contraction. Now, sodium is kind of the most popular electrolyte, but there's also potassium, there's also magnesium, there's also chloride. So what these do, these help regulate your muscle tissue. They help with contractions and they are crucial if you are looking to perform your best. We have supplemented with electrolytes for more than two years now. Um, and I'm super excited to to be working on our own product that we can really stand behind um, because we've tried just about everything on the market. We know what supplements are good, what are bad, what ratios we need to be in. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm very excited to, to work on this product and put out our own supplements that we can take ourselves, but also help other people go out and perform their best whether that's in a lifting session and a running session on race day or whatever you are currently training for. So very exciting stuff. I'm pumped to build out this line. All right. So today it is Wednesday and we are doing a full upper body workout. So there's no running in the workout today. We're just focusing on the upper body. And there are some days in this half marathon prep where I am lifting and running on the same day. There's some days where I'm just lifting and there's some days where I'm just running. Always train and structure your workout program for your personal goals. And 
for right now, we are prioritizing our half marathon prep. So that is the focus. So I'm only strength training four days a week and I'm running four days a week. Say you want to lift a little more, you can lift a little more. Say you want to run a little more, you can run a little more. But by combining both of these into your program, it's really going to help you improve your body composition. It's going to help you increase your basal metabolic rate by having more muscle mass. So the more muscle mass you have, the more calories you burn at rest, which is going to allow you to maintain leader body fat percentages. And when you're running, you're going to improve your cardiovascular system. You're going to improve your overall health and longevity. And it's personally how I love to train. And I personally think that everybody should train in this style, whether that is you lift more, you run more, or you do an even split. There's a lot of benefits to both. So we're going to go through a full upper body workout today and show you some of the strength training movements that I'm doing and what I'm doing when I'm just doing a strength day. Outfit that I have on today, I have the thick grind oversized tee for my pup cover. I have the blue camo game day shorts, both available at fitgrindformula.com. So if you're looking to match your fit with your grind, level up your gym outfit, go check it out at fitgrindformula.com. We have a full men's and women's apparel line and then build, also building out our supplement line where we have our first product or protein powder available, like I said, at fitgrindformula.com. Let's hop into it with some bench press. The goal is to go three by eight with 225 today. All right, so after bench press, done with that, we're gonna get to some supersets. One mistake that I see people make when they start running more, increasing their, their running volume, is that they start to lighten up weights on their strike movements. Make sure that you are still doing your big compound movements, so things like deadlifts, squats, bench press, pull-ups, those big heavy compound movements, because that's what's helped you build muscle, and that's what's gonna help you maintain muscle as your running volume goes up. So. Started the workout off with some heavier bench press, three by eight by 225. And then now we're gonna get to a push pull superset pretty much the rest of the workout. So we're gonna hop into a lat pull down and a incline cable fly supersets. Let's get after it. All right, so we just finished up that upper body workouts. I got two scoops of thick grind weight protein. When I do two scoops, usually what I'll do is about 14 to 16 ounces of water. So I have 14 ounces of water. I like mine a little chocolatier. If you like yours a little less chocolatey, I would go like 16, 18 ounces per two scoops. Um, and then half that if you're doing one scoop. But I'm gonna do two scoops of protein. I'm gonna do an apple. That's gonna be kind of my post-workout meal. I have a training session at noon and then I'll have lunch after that. Biggest takeaway from the video today is you should mix running and strength training in your program, however that looks for you and however that fits in your personal goals. If you wanna run more, run more. If you wanna lift more, lift more. 
But by combining both of these into your program, you're gonna be able to improve your body composition and your health and overall just have a better balanced workout. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button guys, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.